Hey guys, what's up? Uh, the official C2 Cat here, and today we're playing The Dead Linger on my new series. Um, this is new. Uh, my new series called Paper Cut, which basically I choose what people consider some of the worst games ever, and I try to I try to see the, the light in it. This is grand. I can't move. Am I supposed to be able to move? can't open up any menu. Oh, I can move. Okay. Uh, we're rocking about 12 FPS. All right. Uh, oh, that's not how that works. Oh, I'm hungry already. Jeez. Can I just open the door? Oh, it's middle mouse button. Okay. Nice atmosphere, I guess. Open the door. Open the door. I really like this attack animation. I don't know if you guys can see that. This attack animation is, it's probably one of the best out there. Alright, um, yeah, so basically what they did was they promised this crazy zombie game. They promised, like, skateboards and stuff. How the fuck do I pick it up? <laughs> but yeah, I remember I used to be a big fan of this game. In fact, I made a really, really old YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not gonna say the name. But, uh, here's a clip from it. What's up, Lingerers? This is Glenn here for the first The Weekly Dead. Uh, this supposed to be a cool little Walking Dead thing. Uh, I'm gonna read the first one because it's the first episode here. And this will be coming out this Friday. The next one will be coming out Saturday. I just thought I should make a quick note letting you guys know that all the text you guys see popping up during this video is all me typing to myself. I was the editor of this, so I don't know if I was just lonely or very self-hating, because basically every joke I tried to do, I could counteracted it with a boo, you suck kind of thing, so I don't know. I just thought you guys might want to know that. Is it possible to get hit and die? You can just kind of spam the button with no repercussions. I'm literally just punching the shit out of these people. Before they gave up on the game, they should have reverted this back to like the legacy mode. I don't know if you can access the legacy mode, but they should have just brought it back to the legacy mode because that wasn't, it was, it wasn't great, but it was better than this. It actually ran fine. The graphics were kind of crappy, but there were deer you could hunt. Uh, you could build bases, like fortify buildings and structures. Um, this building needs some extra fortification. Uh, and it was just, it was a lot more fun than this. Uh, however now, is this open? Okay. However now, you know, you see the current state it's in. This is a, a rare legless, no oh my goodness gracious! I I'm not sure if zombies can break down doors, but if they can, you can move furniture. You used to be able to move furniture. You can't really move furniture anymore. That's fine. Let's see if we can figure out how to pick up these fucking, okay. Click and drag. Oh, there's there's a crafting system in this game. Okay, that's that's I didn't know that. Do I middle click to? Okay, you middle click to pick it up. What is this? Riot pants. Inventory. Oh, the game almost crashed. Uh, am I? Am I? Oh my gosh, the game is not like that. Was I just wearing them? It did not look like I was wearing them yet yeah. oh my gosh right here it says I'm wearing them so yeah you can aim for the head or you can uh, just punch the ever-living crap out of them this game is getting so close to crashing with every second oh no I think it's this is too much for the game to handle oh gosh okay let's try to eat a little bit what is it? Just eat it. What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna see if we can find a gun to use. Hi. Just ignore them because they're, they're the zombies are not gonna lie. They're a fucking joke. What the fuck? Okay, so weapons actually make it harder in combat because you actually have like a, a a swing time instead of just being able to spam it. That's neat. And with every hit, every hit, with every swing, the game freezes. Oh my gosh. Yes, we have an electric guitar as a weapon, so we're gonna e equip. 
Where the fuck did it go? Did I drop it? Oh, I dropped it. We're gonna equip it. Please, just... Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. What happens if I click these? I can... <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hang on a second. So this is the pants section. As you can see when I click it, my pants go on. Why can I put a pipe there? What is happening? What is this inventory? I honestly just don't get it. Oh, please stop dropping every four seconds. It's making it very difficult to want to play this through. Oh, hello. Is there ammo with it? Honestly, what am I thinking? There's probably not even an ammo system in this game. There is an ammo system. Unless I just have to click R. There's no ammo system in this game. Okay. Let's go ahead and just... Like, it's zoomed in, but I don't know how to make it zoom back out. So, everything I do is I just click R once I shoot, and then it goes into a reload animation. Which fixes my issue. So, that's a good little failsafe they threw in. Except, right now, I haven't shot. So, I can't zoom out unless I shoot the floor and then reload. We're gonna test some fall damage aspects to the game. 360 no scope. Okay, so that's kind of cool. The armor does plop off their head when they get shot. Um, there is fall damage in the game, by the way, so. That was a good shot. Holy shit! This gun is so overpowered! Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I think... I Actually, we still have the crafting system to um, check out, so let's... Oh, never mind. No, we don't have the crafting system to check out. Why do you drop your food? You're supposed to fucking eat it. Yep, so we've we've done just about everything there is to do in this game. I guess all that's left now is to, I don't know, find a better gun and like, just wreck everyone. Hopefully we can find like an assault rifle or something. We can snipe them all from over here, honestly. Oh, there's a leveling up system. Okay. This is... I was not aware of this. Okay, let's... Let's check out our level. So, to get to your level is right here. And you can pick Survivor... Never mind. You can't pick perks for leveling up or Survivor traits. Um, traits? What did it say traits? What did it say? Trials. Uh, you can't pick either of those things. Like I said, they left it off pretty bare bones. They should have reverted back. There were prisons. It was messy. But it, it wasn't, like, bad messy. It was, it was bad, alright, hang on. It was messy. It was definitely messy. But it was fun. Like, when I was little, and I played it, because I was really young, I was playing it on, like, a tiny little laptop that I got. Uh, I was genuinely enjoying it. Running around, hiding at night. The zombies weren't fucking spazzes. Uh, you could jump off of any height and do a tuck and roll. And if you did the tuck and roll at the right time, you'd live. Like, that was fun. Now it's just kind of... I don't know. And they left it like this. And I'm not even sure if there's a way to get back to legacy mode. Which it would be great if there was. I don't know. It's just... it. Okay. Fuck off, door. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm trying my best to describe this with a little, you know, like... Like, it's not like the company's intention was to take your money. They seemed very passionate about it at first. But I just don't see why where they lost their passion, because as they made these bigger updates, sure, people complained about the game. Everyone, would, you know, people complained about games. But the fan base grew more and more loyal. Like, people would start live streaming it. They had this one girl um, as their community manager. Uh, she was like really friendly with people and she'd go watch their streams like they they displayed like actual care and passion for the community Oh, I'm wearing I'm wearing clothes now. I don't know how that happened But it did probably when I was messing around with my inventory. Uh, it says I'm still naked. So maybe I'm wearing it I just I don't know. What is this? Calf muscle? Calf is an important muscle when it comes to running and keeping your footing in combat. Lighter clothing will increase speed. Heavier armor decreases. 
They had so many good ideas with it. Oh, I also remember, along with prisons, they had some really cool... Uh, they just added office buildings, um, which were these massive buildings. They were usually pretty glitchy. Where... <laughs> It's just dancing! That's not a zombie walk. Alright, well, I think that about does it. Uh, we've just explored... I think... If I miss something, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure we explored everything that this has to offer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a comment and a like. Those are always, always appreciated. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what to paper cut next, uh, let me know. Um, I actually plan to be paper cutting, uh, I don't, paper cutting, playing, uh, Day One Gary's Incident, and I'm going to suffer and try to play all the way through that game, so, wish me luck for that. Tilda! Alright guys, uh, this is the end of the video, uh, I just want you guys to know that I did go check out their website, and they do have some games that they're working on now, including a, a VR game, which is pretty cool, um, and they talk about uh, what they stand for, which is communication. As I mentioned, they would even go as far as to watch your Twitch, which is crazy. Um, integrity. They, they, they didn't just abandon the project. They did say, hey, we're done with uh, the dead linger. Um, and yeah, that's the, uh, the director and that's the community manager that I was talking about. Um, so... I mean, honestly, uh, they're not. I didn't. They're not a bad company. They were. I feel like they are a. They're a smaller company, obviously, that bit off way more than they can chew with all the um the the stuff they wanted to do with their zombie game, and uh, yeah. So I, I I do wish them the best of luck on their future projects, uh, in, you know, including all of these ones. <laughs> so yeah, that about does it. Tilda.